Hello everyone, hope you are doing good. In this video tutorial, we now to how to export uh, weather data from different uh, weather sources, including the metronome and all the sources which exist in PVSYST. We have to export any of the location and uh, drop into the PVSYST. Uh, then we have going to be export the weather data. The all parameters are mentioned over there. I am explain. In the weather data in this uh, tutorial as well first of all we have click on once any of the pv assist that is not using you have going on any paid software just you have going to be work on the uh, demo software you will just download uh, the pvc from pvc site once you will download it and you will open the pvc software for weather data you will once uh, you will open the pv assist click over from here I will uh, guide you. We will once you will open your PVC such sort of interface shown you. Then you will click here any of one that is the grid grid connected system. From here you will going to be geographical site. Click over there. Once you will click here, it will open such sort of interface in front of you. From here you will select a new site. Okay. Once you will click over here, you will accept selected point. From here, you will assign the name that is the weather data of XYZ location. You give your location name. After that, you will assign the name. You will select the region. My region is Asia, and I will select my country that is the Pakistan. I will select my country. After that, you will go to the Google Earth. From here, any of location, you will need some sort of location. I, I know you have study in this region you will need the metronome uh, data of this region metrological data of this region you will click over here and you will drop the pinpoint from the your area of interest after that you will select the latitude and go back to your pv assist from here you will drop the latitude and go back to the Google earth from here you will select the latitude go to the pv assist to drop the longitude after that you will see the altitude over there you will see the you will uh, see here the latitude that is the elevation shown over here that is the latitude actually that is 161 to 160 meter we uh, assume it's 160 meter altitude the time zone is depend on your case from your region as well so in my case my time uh, zone is five i will start over here five after that once here we will put all the latitude longitude altitude and time zone we will have different sources you will look out here we have nasa sse we have pvgis times year we have nrl we have uh, sol cost we have solar anywhere and we have solar gis time series yearly data over here we have select any of source from over here then we have click import once you will click import it will open the detail of all geographical parameters which include the whole yearly the current scenario of the data that is the global horizontal radiations global horizontal radiation after the horizontal diffuse radiation the temperature of that specific region the wind velocity the the like turbidity the link turbidity as well the relative humidity as well all these meteorological parameters data we will easily extract and we will use for any different sources or any further studies or any of the your studies graphs as well the meteorological data the climatic data we use this data from here we if we need to export we click here export over here the full uh, month weather data is now occupied into the clipboard you can paste them in excel or any of the separate sheet over here once you will uh, prompt this bar then click ok you will open your excel ok or any of the table you have opened in your word as well you will click on over here you will control v look the data is in all the weather data is in front of you now you will use the data then click into text into column from here we have delimited with comma ok the data will be here so you will see here there is separate it over there then next then finish you will see here the complete data 
will in front of you now you will use your data for any of your xyz different graphs or any sort of your different working for suppose we use this data and the temperature data and we have going to be assigned any of the uh, recommended charts of any form of that you will see over here that is your time chart and you have used the in parallel you will use wind velocities and you have used the diffuse irradiations all the related parameters are exported here this is the one of the best technique for where we use our uh, weather data from all the four to five sources and we have easily to correlate the sources and we have used the uh, work for our as well here we have used the NASA data that he will use we have also used this data as well and you will check over here that is the temperatures that is the uh, GHI and the DNI of this source as well now you will come back this as well we will one by check all the sources what sort of data were there and what we have used for the purpose you will see over here the wind is also the relative humidity the temperature the horizontal radiations of this uh, data source and then we have come back to an nrl you will click over here and the import and then click over here yes the same case same location data weather data of all these different sources the all parameter of meteorological data will be easily extracted from these sources and we have especially for the research purpose and all other related work we have going to be especially once we have going to be solar resource assessment reports or any related work then we have going to be used the exact locations most of the time the meteorological uh, the all meteorological uh, uh, stations was not installed in our the place so we have going to be used this technique to use the weather data for in a, a long you will phone all the related videos thank you so much for watching take care bye